Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I am your boy Neff from Neff's Tech. But today we're going to be doing a teardown on a Siemens uh, Windows embedded system. That's right, friends. This is one of those systems. This is a computer that they will put into machinery. This came from, I want to say it came from a Mori Siki machine. And the first time I ran into this, uh, they called me over to uh, a piece of machinery because the system wasn't turning on after they had a contractor put an emergency stop into it. But all I could do was put my finger in here to the hard drive area and uh, make, to see if it was vibrating or not. So the hard drive is an interesting lock and unlock feature on here. But what really blows me away is this is a freaking computer that you slam it into a piece of machinery. The machinery is made for CMM. The CMM uh, will make geez just metal parts parts for cars all kinds of stuff this is the type of stuff the rubber meets the road yeah you can do programming on anything but when it actually comes to, to to fusing steel together to cutting steel uh apart from each other this this is some sexy stuff ladies and gentlemen so what we have here is uh windows xp pro for embedded systems we got siemens made in germany this is uh 512 megabyte windows xp embedded system once again made from siemens siemens uh, makes all kinds of fun stuff so let's get this swag off here and we will take a closer look actually i have already gotten into it a little bit but check it out here at the bottom it's interesting we have serial input vga dvi four usbs two network um, power here unfortunately I can't use it I can't turn it on because it takes a very particular kind of power non-standard I don't have that power you would originally just hook it into a machine into the machine that you were running it from it's just all one metal unit one second Whoop. honestly I already opened up part of this but I ran a memory on my video so I had to delete some stuff and then make some more room. So after fighting with Torx, man, I hate Torx. Always make sure you have Torx on staff though. You open this up and we see a SATA hard drive. I really would have thought that this would have been IDE, but no, interesting how they mount it. Oh good God, they terminated that. Interesting how they mount it, check that out. They mount it in suspension so that vibrations won't hurt it. The vibrations of factories and whatnot. And I guess they put this sponge here in order to absorb moisture, which is really interesting. So you slide this back and forth to lock it and unlock it. I guess that's the unlock. But still, that puppy is not coming out. Oh, I guess I have to uh, take these screws out. Anyways, it's an interesting way to mount a hard drive. And just lock it and unlock it like so. Let's see if I can get anything out of that and see if uh, I can find any files or anything like that. Alright, so I managed to bust this thing out of his shell and I'm just blown away to find out that it's Seagate. Siemens went with Seagate. That blows me away. Why wouldn't they go with Western Digital? Do they not want this stuff to work? I thought Siemens was supposed to be a good brand. Um, 5400 RPMs, 160 gigabytes. Seriously, it's like it's they baby this drive in a special dock and a special case and a special whatever everything And then they put a piece of junk hard drive in there that they probably got from the lowest bidder I don't understand that and uh, I hope to talk to an engineer eventually to figure out why they made that decision Anyways, let's have a look closer look on the inside of what we can see so far what have we got here? Okay, so we're not going to see a whole lot. We have, um, what kind of chip is that? That can't be the North Bridge, right? No, that can't be the North Bridge. Got, it's interesting, we got several ports to hook up to other places, but there's no space down here to hook up to it. I don't get it. Okay, we got two spots for drives. That's where the power hooks up. We got a spot for IDE. This must be the power supply. That's interesting, we have a power supply, but it has a non-standard plug on it, so I can't get into it as, uh, as nicely as I'd like to. That's interesting, but I guess they had this made for the form factor of the machine and not the form factor of um, anything else. Anything else is standard. So let me mess with a few more of these screws and we'll see what's on the inside of this 
Interestingly, we have a swinging door over here. I don't see why anyone would need that other than, oh, okay, yeah, maybe get the power supply out. All right, one more screw over here and I can take the top right off and see what we got under here. I'm really, I'm just a little bit bummed that that's a specific type of power supply in there because I want to get an older system going to play uh, Doom, but I guess I gotta get, gotta get a Windows 95 system in for that, right? All right, so. Busted the top off. What do we see here? All right, so we got a fan of CPUs right under here. Let's see what kind of RAM we got. We got more space for more RAM. I doubt anyone would actually use it. 512. Looks like DDR2, which makes sense. Yeah, PC2. 512, PC2. Oh, there is a place for a flash drive. That's interesting. So there's a spot for a flash drive in there at the top, but I don't think anyone, like there, there's no way to get to it. Oh, you gotta take that off. And then you'll use the flash drive and that'll be to run specific things in there. So that's gotta be the Northbridge chip right there. Unless that's the GPU. You know, maybe that is the GPU. Maybe that's the GPU and that's the Northbridge. If anybody knows, let me know, please. Because usually the Northbridge will have its own um, fan on it, and I don't think that this is old enough, I don't think this thing is new enough that it would have the GPU on the CPU, but I could be wrong, that Intel chip there says 2003, jeez, I can't remember, I can't remember when they started putting GPUs onto the CPUs, but I think it was after that, you know, we got two bays over here to PCI, Express standard, you don't see those so much anymore. And an internal USB right there, I just noticed that. Okay. Now, what's all this then? Look at how cute that is. One second. Let me get you a closer look. Look how cute. Look how cute. Um, there's an Intel, it says 2004, 1.5 megahertz one megabyte cache 400 not sure what the 400 would mean okay now i gotta get a little flathead screw and then i can bust that thing in i almost wonder if that's an atom if that is an atom chip it might be have you ever noticed you can always find a flathead screw unless or sorry a flathead bit unless you absolutely need it and then it's nowhere to be found you gotta say, the flathead bit is one of the most useful bits because you can always use it for other things. Okay, let's see if I can get that out. There we go. Can I pull you out now? Open says me. Okay, move that to the side. And the plastic piece came up a bit. Don't do this. If you're, if you're, if you're trying to do this professionally, don't do this. I, uh... I'm kind of ham-handedly working my way through this. I just want to see what's on the other side of this chip. There we go. Pop. Oh, you know this is old because it actually uses pins. It's been a while since I've seen anything on Intel using pins. Interesting. There's no die on here. There's no die. I'm going to try to get more information on this. All right, I got the specs on this bad boy. It's an Intel Celeron M processor, 370. We already knew uh, 1.5 gigahertz, 400 megabyte front side bus. Discontinued, of course. Launch date, second quarter of 2004. So this board is probably over 10 years old. 1.5 giga, yeah, yeah, we know all this stuff. Okay. I think I've almost gotten just as far as I can with this board. I still think this is really interesting, really sexy. Just the fact of work you can you can do. I believe that ATMs have something like this installed in them. Uh, but what I love about this is it's so freaking modular. Just like that, you can get this thing installed. Oh, I've never seen a power supply connect like that. That is some interesting stuff. That's some interesting stuff. Look at those pins. Look at those pins. I've never seen anything like that before. Or maybe I have and I just don't remember. I wonder if I can get this thing out and see what's underneath it. 
I'm not too heartbroken if I can't, but I might want to try. Now, that's as far as I can get. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Not from Nav's Tech, but it's taking a look at our Windows XP embedded systems. It's very cool stuff. I like it very much, and I hope I get an opportunity to tear something down like this in the future. Uh, that's it for me, folks. Have a good one, and take care of each other.